Hello there, people of the Whippernet. The Sheep Killer here. Welcome back to Pokemon Glaze. This is the Nuzlocke, and things are a bit different from last time. All of our Pokemon are the same, of course. We got Goku, Finn, Toad, and Bolt. But now they're all level 13, and not only that, but in between episodes, I updated the game. Yeah, I, I think I said last time that we were going to stick to the same version anyway, but I updated it anyway, and now we're on a newer version, and it's called Pokemon Blaze Glaze, where a lot of stuff in the game has been tweaked to where the difficulty is more balanced, because I think the original game, the early game is ridiculous, but then the rest of the game is easy, but this one has a equal amount of challenge throughout, I've heard, and it also changes up some of the encounter tables and learn sets for the Pokemon, so things are definitely going to be more interesting than the original series I made, besides just the fact of it being a Nuzlocke. That's pretty cool. And now we can go into that place and then the gym, but let's go in here first. Because I think we get something in here. I think there was like a Pokemon to get or something. No stranger in my house, take this rock I found. I was randomly on the street. It's park ground. It's cool. Take this off my hands. Obtained a large rock. Let's, let's give it into the newly obtained rock. Yes, and we get an Onyx. Uh, I think in the original game she gave you a Ditto, so things are even more different. Yeah, I was gonna name you Brock. Oh, I didn't get to read what you said. And now you're copying me. Okay. I don't know if you're doing that on purpose or what, but... And now you don't say anything either. Okay. And now we have Brock on our team. He's level 12, so he's... Well, so he's caught up with everyone else. Only one level behind, actually. Onyx is pretty weak, but he should serve us well in the gym. But we're gonna keep Goku up front for now. And enter this place, the power plant or whatever it's called. With the Lavender Town music. We already got our encounter here last time. It was the Electrike. I got pressured into coming in and vandalizing this old power plant. Be careful. Some of my friends are upstairs. Okay, now what do you have to say for yourself? I think you think you're pretty cool, right? No, I don't. I'm just here to beat you up with you and your Venipede. Also, a lot of the random trainer dialogue was changed as well. This guy's dialogue wasn't changed, but other trainer's dialogue was. And we got a Crow Gunk here. Like, pretty much the dialogue for not all the trainers in the Milkshake Swamp, but some of them were. The dialogue was changed to make more sense. So, yeah. Overall, just it just made the game even better than it already was, which is pretty cool. So I'm glad I updated to this version. It's going to make things way more interesting for the Nuzlocke. I still hope none of my good Pokemon die, but whatever. And now Finn's level 14. Next is Electrike. And... I can go into Toad, I guess, get him leveled up as well. Everyone was grinding up to level 13 and then being close to level 14, so we can get everyone to level 14 this episode, except maybe Brock. And the Axie Drop's actually coming in handy, and we get a critical, heck yeah! And Toad level 14. Next is a Poochiana, we can have Bolt up against that. You know, Brock's probably my most creative nickname so far. That's kind of sad. And Poochiana's gonna die here, though. Down it goes. Bolt getting leveled up. Everyone levels up today. That wasn't cool. And not only are we getting the level ups, but Goku's evolving as well. He's gonna evolve into a Monferno. Heck to the yeah, let's just speed this up. It's a Nuzlocke. Who really cares? Yeah, we got Monferno now. And yep, as expected, he learns Mach Punch. Let's get rid of Taunt for that, I guess. We want to avoid attacks in a Nuzlocke, don't we? So Taunt's not really a good move in that case. Let's just sort that up, and we'll sort out... No, not, not you. We'll, we'll sort out Brock's moves as well. Just do a little bit of that. And we're going to have Brock up front, because he's our lowest level. There we go. I could have had the others leveled up higher level than Goku, because I did the level 13 thing, just because... Chinchar would evolve at the next level, and I just wanted everyone to stay at the same level. I could have had them leveled up higher, like 15, but I decided against it. And here's a Pikachu. We're definitely not going to be able to run from that, or maybe we could have. But hey, it'd be nice to get some experience for Brock. You had a berry? What the crud? And I missed the rock throw, and you're lowering my attack, so we're probably not going to kill you this turn. Oh, but it has the same beliefs as Ash's Pikachu. I'm trying to use a Thundershock on my... Onyx. Well, this is this is the the games, not the anime. So you're not gonna get away with that. Well, it's a goodie like you doing here. I'm trying to meet the gym leader, of course, Hooligan Xander, with your level 11 Crogunk. What's his curse? 
And we'll get that attack buff, that defense buff, and the speed down. And we can't use Stasmus anymore, because he used Taunt. So we, used, we chose the right time to use Curse. And he used Taunt again for some reason. And we'll just finish him off with Attack. Well, it must be Flinch, of course. Why are you using Taunt so many times? You don't need to use it once, dude. Oh, come on. That dialogue's the same. I remember that dialogue. Oh, come on. I don't know why I have vivid memories of some of the random dialogue lines in this game. I guess just my nostalgia for Pokemon Glazed. I haven't played it since 2015, after all. Or parts of it later on, because the series took forever to finish, but... All the early parts were played in 2015. And I guess I have nostalgia for that at this point. I mean, it was half a decade ago, so it's not that surprising that I'd have nostalgia for that, but it still seems weird. This guy, th just like the others, he thinks he's cool when he's really not. And he's got a Zorua. That's pretty cool. Your Pokemon's cooler than you are. I mean, I suppose it's the same for me, but whatever, ignore that. That was A-OK. -okay. Brock level 13. Zora was next, again. Twelve seconds later. Aw, oh, he went for a transform. But we killed him anyway! There we go. Dang! And now, let's use a potion on Brock here. Brock's gonna be caught up with everyone else soon enough. Here we are. This is where we need to be. Who are you? It's dangerous here. Just look over there. That Pikachu's back at it again, it seems. See that Pikachu? It's managed to activate the power plant's turbines. It seems to be absorbing the electricity. It's trying to power up. You need to get out of here. You're looking for the gym leader? Well, you found him. My name is Sparky, the Ocean View City gym leader. I've been getting a lot of easy challenges recently, so I need to know how strong you are. If you manage to beat that Pikachu, I'll bow you in my gym. You'll have to figure out a way to turn off the electricity, though. Alright, then. We just gotta go over here. Press this switch here. The door is blocked off right now. It gets unblocked later, but there's nothing that we're doing for the Nuzlocke over there. So let's just battle Pikachu. Oh darn it. I should have known it'd be you to cut off the power. You, who ruined my life and kicked me out of my home. I've been absorbing this electricity to level up, and now I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget. I didn't kick you out of your home. All I did was beat you up for harassing my parents, you crud. And now we're battling Pikachu. It's level 15 now. Let's just re-hit him once. Oh gosh, this Pikachu's just as stupid as the wild ones. I mean, I guess this Pikachu's wild too, but whatever. Let's just rock a throw. And that wasn't enough. But it doesn't matter. And this Onyx, this Onyx actually makes things easy, though. Yeah, on Onyx has just cheesed this section of the game so far, and it's probably going to be the same with the gym. I'm so freaking tired of you ruining my dreams. Believe me, I will have my revenge on you. You're being a bit overdramatic there. I'm just beating you up for harassing people. Huh, you actually did it. Well, a deal's a deal. And you upheld your rent. I'll be at my gym now. Can't wait to battle ya! Alright then. It's time to go. Dancing Magnemites are back. Of course they are. After we beat the gym, we'll keep going until we get an encounter and then one in the episode. Let's just hope it's not a trash encounter. I mean, I, they have updated the encounter tables for routes in this game. To include more Pokemon, so... It's less likely we'll get. It's less likely we'll get something garbage, I suppose. But we'll we'll just have to wait and see. We gotta beat the first gym before we can do anything, though, and that's not gonna happen if we keep getting interrupted by the dancing Magnemites. All right, we're all healed up now, and now we can take on the gym or not. I forgot about you. Hey, who are you? The Sheep Killer. That's a cute name. My name is Shell, and I just got my very first gym badge. I almost butchered that there, but I got it. I got it right somehow. Jealous. This gym was easy, because I have Pokemon that resist electric types, wanna see? Oh gosh, you use grass types, and I have Brock up front. And there's your Chikorita. Let's, well, we're gonna switch out to Monferno, obviously. There's no way. Onyx would have died there for sure. I'm not ready for another death yet. I mean, we haven't lost anyone of value so far, but still. I'd rather not see someone die right now. Let's just go for Mock Punch. Chikorita is dead. Brock leveled up, heck yeah. Next is the Pikachu, let's... Why did I send out Finn? I don't know, we just kinda hope we don't die. I doubt a level 12 Pikachu can one-shot us. We should be fine. Well, if we get stuck in paralysis and he goes... Tail Whip's not gonna help us with Thunder Shock do more damage, though. Yeah, Tail Whip's not doing nothing for him. It'll make Quick Attack stronger, but there's no way he can one-shot us with Quick Attack. Not even if we're at, like, minus six defense. There's a Thunder Shock. 
Oh gosh, a critical. We gotta get the heck out of dodge right now. Let's go into bolt. Let me just finish him off with quick attack. He was gonna finish me off with quick attack. But no, I kill you. We almost lost Finn, but we did it there. We can resist your Pokemon's attacks. Drat! You're just a rookie, so I went easy on you. Okay, bead. Don't expect to win again. We'll battle again soon, don't worry. They always pull the I went easy on you card whenever they lose. I should know, I do that too. Anyways, it's first gym time for real now. And I'm not. I don't want to use Finn. Let's use Toad. We've used Brock all throughout the power plant, so. Here in my garage, let's just take on the first trainer. I don't. I think the gym leader will refuse to battle us until we defeat the trainers, so. We definitely gotta take down these trainers. I was gonna do it anyway. So, whether it's that way or not, we're battling them. And. And oh yeah, one thing about Toad, he actually started off with Poison Sting whenever I re-caught him for this series. Yeah, I had to start over to play this updated version. And whenever I did that, I just caught the same Pokemon again. I didn't do whatever my first encounters were that time. Because my first encounters were different. And you don't give me fresh water. That's only in Gen 5, not in any fan games or whatever. And he's, he's, he's going to ignore us until we beat these guys up, I believe. In case I'm wrong, I'm not going to talk to him. But... Let's just beat these guys up. Oh, he thunder waves me. I don't want to go back and heal after this. There's a the quick attack. And we do no damage to these Pikachus. Let's just use a... No? Well, he keeps missing after one mud slap. Now he has my luck. We just gotta beat up these Pikachus. I keep saying that, but... What am I supposed to say? Talk about stuff outside those videos? I guess? I don't know. But this guy's defeated, and now we gotta go heal up Toad. We got five Pokemon now. Would have had six if... You know who didn't die. And oh yeah, I made the box with Mandrake. And here's Rat. And we're gonna have the box be like that for whenever we catch Pokemon when we have a full team. That top texture above the gym still glitches whenever we go through the door. I don't I don't know why it does that, but whatever. I'm Sparky's best mechanic, I'm his best gym minion too. Gym minion. I thought they were gym trainers. I guess they're minions in, in this game. Thundershock? I bet I'm paralyzed. Why? The critical and the paralyzed? What the heck? You're hacking, dude. You're hacking, my guy. Thundershock? Oh my gosh, why am I letting it get that close? Why? Just switch Bolt in r right now. He was gonna kill me for sure there. Let's just kill you off right now. Oh gosh, why are you quick attacking me? Get out of here. Until level 15. We're in pursuit, heck yeah. And I'm not gonna use Brock for this because he doesn't have any ground moves. So I guess we can keep Toad up front for now. Jolteon's more intent on his trade and his work than you. Okay. Hold on just a sec. Jolteon jumped the car with a thunderbolt. Awesome, she's up and running again. Sorry about that, Chief Killer, but I don't like leaving a job unfinished. You finally come to battle me, I see. Well, this battle ought to be shocking. Oh, you're quite the jokester, aren't you, Mr. Gym Leader Sparky? You got an Electrike up for me? Well, it's just Mud Slap. What else are we gonna do but Mud Slap, after all? Lower his accuracy. Mud Slap is very strong for this gym, and Thunder Wave. We get paralyzed every time. And there's Shock Wave. In the original Pokemon Glaze, you got a TM for Thunderbolt when you beat this guy, but I think in this game it's Shock Wave. You know, to make things more balanced. They wanted to make the early game easier, so they give you the Onyx and give you more options for Pokemon. And they also don't want to make late game too easy, so they don't give you overpowered TMs early on. And, yeah, I almost lost freaking uh, Toad there. Almost lost him, so we had to switch out into Brock. And we went for a Rock of Throw and missed, because of course we did. And we just gotta go for one more Rock of Throw and he's dead. There we go. Next up is Mareep. You gotta kill the sheep. You know how it is. Freaking sheep! Sheep! You gotta murder him now. But we have to re first because I'm angry. I'm angry at the mere existence of sheep. And this will be a nice and smooth two shot. Unless he goes for a potion. I think he'll kill him anyway. Not quite. But there we go. He's dead. 
And last but not least, certainly not least, is Jolteon. I think it's only fair to have our ace up against his. Level 16 on this guy. And that did a lot of damage. Okay. Let's get the heck out of here. Going to Brock. Brock has just saved this Nuzlocke. I don't I don't know how good I'd I don't know how I'd be doing without Brock on the team. He just saved both Toad and Goku in this battle. Just by existing. Brock is the number one team member now. I wonder how he evolved me the Steelix in this game. I know there's not trade evolution, so. Gotta be some other method. I don't know how. So if Brock ends up being around for a while, maybe we'll find out how to evolve him at some point. Spectacular, electrify, you definitely deserve this badge. And we get the Jolt Badge, which lets us use Cut Aside a Battle, raises our attack, and we get TM34, which is Shockwave. It's popular move that will always hit its target. Don't forget about me. We'll have a rematch one day, and Jolteon, it was truly fun battle with you. I can feel it in my spikes that we'll face each other again one day. And I'll come out on top. Okay, that last part's not true, but we will battle again. And let's use Shockwave, or get Shockwave. We'll teach it to Bolt. Also, it shows the little icon there for whether it moves physical or special. I don't think the original Glaze did that. That's pretty cool. And yeah, we got through that gym battle with zero deaths. Isn't that awesome? And no, using the Onyx isn't cheating. The game literally gave it to us. So yeah, that was an easy gym battle. Definitely didn't almost lose anyone. But yeah, we got through it with zero deaths, thanks to Brock. Brock is the MVP, you gotta admit. And now, uh, I think we need to buy a ticket here, but I think I already have it. Or we didn't, because we got the surrendering ticket right there. Yeah, we got the surrendering ticket from that dude, and now... And uh, now we need the wish ticket for that one. And yeah, we go to Serenity Isle right here. Let's set sail. We're at Serenity Isle. Heck yeah. Huh? My cell phone is ringing. The sheep killer, where are you? Serenity the Isle. Perfect. I was hoping you could deliver something for me. Could you run by my lab? The quickest way would be to take the Serene Bridge, which runs south in Serenity Isle. Thanks. If we go to Sea Spray Town, we had another gym, but this is Serenity Isle. I don't think there's a gym here. Never mind, there is a gym here. And there's a rock. That rock was not there in the original. There is an event that you have to clear in this game at some point. And usually you could take on the gym before that, but in Blaze Glaze, I guess they don't let you take on the gym until after the fact. Maybe we can go south and get an encounter, because I'm pretty sure there's no way to get an encounter here. No way to get an encounter here in Serenity Isle. Oh wait, you're probably going to block me. No? Ah, but there's trainers. Now we can beat up some trainers. This bridge is absolutely exquisite. Okay. You got your boizel there. Oh gosh, Toad, why are you dying right now? Get that boizel out of here. And Taylor's next. Let's go into Bolt. Bolt hasn't been used that much in this episode. So we're going to use him along with his new move. I could have switched into Bolt this whole time, but instead I used Toad. And you didn't see it because I wasn't talking, so I edited it out, but whatever. And we can have Bolt up front right now. Or Finn, I guess. Finn needs to evolve. And let's battle you. Let's have a battle. Okay. We can battle. And you have a star you. Of course, when I use Finn, we go up against a star you. Who can spam recover? Because everyone loves that. Yep, there it is. There's the recover spam. Get out of here, you crud. Finn leveled up, at least. And maybe in the next battle, they'll level up again and evolve. Did you just insult me? How dare you? I would train them. Let me photograph your Pokemon. No, instead you can battle them. How about that? You got... How dare you have my starter but stronger? And you better not burn me. You're gonna die. You're actually gonna die. Burn me, I dare you. you, you burn me. Just burn me. Do it. No, you're gonna taunt me instead? Heck out of here. Finn levels up now. Yep, there we go. And now... After that, we get to see Mudkip evolve into Marsh Stomp. Everyone's getting stronger today. There we go. We got ourselves a Marsh Stomp. And it gets Mud Shot, which is better than Mud Slap, but we're going to get rid of Foresight. Because Foresight's useless. And now we can use Bolt again. Bolt's the lowest level. It gets this guy. Don't you think this is amazing? We'll find out if I beat you up or not. I will beat you up. You got Pidgeotto. And that did a lot of damage, but... 
We did even more damage. They go for a sand attack, but I use Shockwave, which never misses. So heck out of here, Pidgoto. And there we go. And I didn't read that dialogue, but who cares? You. Surely you're a good trainer, right? Yeah, I'm the best trainer there ever was. Duot? You have a level 18 Duot? Oh gosh. Why is everything almost killing me in this episode? I'll see. Yeah, Finn can take a water gun. We're fine. He went for focus energy, though, so we just gotta hope he doesn't kill me. Oh gosh. Get out of here. There we go. That was... That duot was ridiculous. And now we got War Turtle here. And I need to heal. Why are these trainers so strong? I thought they made early game easier. Oh, why? Actually, why? And now you're biting me? That's what you get. That's what you get, you frick. You're not killing my team. You're not killing anyone. Withdraw? Oh, wow. You're, you're so strong, War Turtle. You're totally not going to die in the next turn. Oh, gosh. Am I dead? What the heck is this episode? I cannot be loud right now because it's after midnight. But seriously, what the heck is going on? How many times am I going to cut it close in this episode? No, you. That was ridiculous. We're at Forlorn Cape. And no one knows cut, I just realized. We gotta teach someone cut. I don't have cut. Oh yeah, we don't we don't have cut yet, that's right. We get it we get it from Professor Willow, I think. We just gotta Oh, this is our encounter, by the way. Venipede! Alright. That's a really good Pokemon. I love Skullipede. And there's no way Brock's gonna kill it. Yeah, definitely not. But yeah, Venipede is our encounter, that's awesome. We get to have Skullipede if, if Venipede lasts, which is definitely awesome. And I think that should do it. We have Great Balls, so if a Pokeball don't work, I'll just Great Ball right after. There we go, we got him. Venipede, heck yeah. The Fox Pokemon, what? You're not a Fox. This is not a Fox. It discovers what's going on around it using the feelers on its head and tail. It's brutally aggressive. And it's using Krabby's Cry. Krabby's also not a fox, so what the heck game? And we're going to name you Scully, because you evolve into Scullypede, which is Scully's favorite Pokemon. So we're going to name you Scully. Let's just hope Scully doesn't die. And what could we have gotten? Shroomish. I'm glad we got the Venipede. We actually got a good encounter for once. I like that. Uh, no, no offense to Bolt and Toad. They're decent. I just like Venipede more. And yeah, we're on Springside Path right now. Springside Path and Forlorn Capes up ahead. I think we can get an encounter there too after we talk to Professor Willow. So let's heal up at the house. No, we don't. We don't heal up at the house here. We heal up at the lab. So yeah, let's go to the lab, talk to Professor Willow, and that'll be a thing. Very nice. And yeah, Scully's our highest level right now. For some reason, even the wild Pokemon are stronger than me. Here we are. Hello, Dishikura. Do you remember me? I'm Blake. I'm a member of the 2-9 Elite 4. Hello, Dishikura. Think it's good to see you again. Thanks for coming. I heard this heat fusion has been seen poking around the haunted isle in the 2-9 Sea, west of Surrounding the Isle. They could be defacing the ruins there, so I need to stop them. If you wouldn't mind, would you accompany me? If you want to, I'll be waiting at the port in Surrounding the Isle. I'll be seeing you soon, I hope. Off he goes. And that's the certain quest I was talking about. We gotta do that before taking on the second gym. I hate to ask you to run errands for me, but this is absolutely urgent. The next town you'll be going to is Sea Spray Town, and I need to deliver a pressure sensor to be installed at the Sea Spray Dam. And we got the sensor which will be delivered there. Please deliver this to Flo, the manager of the Sea Spray Darn, as soon as possible. In return for your help, I'll grant you access to my sanctuary, located in the Forlorn Cape, west of town. Please take this as well. HMO would cut so we can quickly get back to Surrender the Isle. Yep, same way you traveled here. Thanks for, thanks for your help. All right. Thanks, Professor Willow. And we get cut now. It's a bug-type move in this game. Unfortunately, Scully can't learn it. That will be great for him. Yeah, let's just get our encounter in the episode. Here we are at the Forlorn Cape. We get our encounter. What's it going to be? Let's have Bolt up front so we can paralyze it. What is it? Our encounter. Tepig? I would have preferred... A different starter? 
I would prefer the grass starter. But it's not bad. I didn't even know you could get starters here. I thought it was, it was like first forms of pseudo legendaries in this route. But no, we got Tepig here. I guess they added first forms of starters to this, or maybe they were always here and I didn't know. But let's just Pokeball. One. Ah, one, only one shake. Well, that's Great Ball. And after this, we're going to see what we could have gotten. It's probably going to be... I'm probably going to be big sad after seeing what I could have gotten. But, yeah, we got Tepig. No, I'm not naming you after my Lapras from Ash Gray. We're naming you Frank. Here we are, Frank. We got Frank. That's pretty cool, I guess. But what could we have had? Oshawott? Yeah, we could have had Oshawott. And I imagine Snivy's here. We could have had Dratini. I mean, it evolves late game, so maybe it's a good thing, but still. Froki! We could have had Froki. We could have we could have had Greninja on the team. And yeah, this Snivy. I probably would have rather had that than Tepe, because we don't have a grass type, but whatever. And yeah, I guess we have no choice but to teach Cut to our to our starter here. Whatever. He needs a he need, he needed some coverage anyway, I guess. There's Cut on him. They made Cut better in this game. They made it a bug type move. And it's 60 base power instead of 50. So that's pretty cool. It'll be a decent move on us, at, at least. So there we go. That's going to be it for this episode of the Pokemon Glaze Nuzlocke. Next time, we'll be following Blake to that one island to do some stuff. Fight off Team Fusion grunts. Hopefully no one dies. We did zero deaths in this episode. Which is an outstanding achievement, considering we had one death in the last episode. So yeah, hopefully that continues next episode, but we'll see. I'll see you guys then. Actually, we're not ending episode quite yet. There's a few other things. First of all, I taught Scully... I taught, I taught Scully Seed Bomb in between cuts. And one more thing, I just realized we have an encounter here. In this grass here. I already picked up a TM, it was a duplicate of Seed Bomb. For, I mean, Grass Knot for some reason. But yeah, then I realized we can get an encounter here. And it is... Meryl. Okay. The Water Fairy type. Not the worst thing. Still would have preferred a grass type, but I don't know if there's grass types here, so we're just gonna catch you real quick. So we got two, three encounters in this episode. Only one of them was worth anything at the moment, but n nothing terrible. Not anything like Rat was, I guess. So there's Meryl, our next encounter, and we got a name of Pika Blue. Because I am creative and original, as you can tell with all of my nicknames. There's Pika Blue. And now let's take a look at him in the PC. In between episodes, I'm going to do some training, and then in the next episode, we'll be doing some epic stuff. But yeah, here's Frank and Pika Blue in their full glory. Here's their moves. I won't be training them, because I don't see any need to. I'll train them up if someone dies and they end up being a replacement, of course, but. They just stay the way they are for now. But yeah, next time, we're gonna join Blake, probably do the Lighthouse Challenge as well, and maybe the gym if we have time. But in between episodes, I'm gonna get some free XP from this guy. He was says it, more, want more free XP? What free XP? I'll be doing that in between episodes to get my Pokemon strengthened up, because we had a lot of close calls this episode. I don't want more of that. So, you know, I'll, I'll be doing some training, and I'll see you all next time. Happy hunting!